Jesus. Just got my hair cut. Shout out to the homie. We out here chilling. What's going on, y'all? Welcome to another video. Today's video, bro, probably the most requested video I've ever gotten as long as I've owned this YouTube channel. All right, so for the past two or three months, a lot of you guys have fell in love with rice gum and been blowing me up to do a rice gum haircut tutorial. So today's video is a rice gum haircut tutorial. So what you guys need to know about this particular haircut that I gave rice gum, it's kind of different from his previous haircuts. The haircuts in the past, he was just getting a, a low ball taper to a number two, faded up to a number four with the line and then a comb over. This haircut, uh, we switched it up a little bit. We gave him a mid ball fade with no sideburn to a one and a half to a four and on top he's trying to grow his hair out he wants to do like a slick back look and then eventually do a man bun and then he wants to get braids on the middle and i told him it would look dope so in this haircut we didn't touch the top at all all right one more thing if you guys clicked on this video and you have no desire to be a barber whatsoever but you guys are a rice gum fan hit that thumbs up button for me let me know that you guys did like the video other than that man let's get into it all right, so we're gonna start out by using our Austin Fassi with the number one guard on there with the lever all the way open. We're gonna take this guy line up to the top of his box to that corner right there. That way it leaves us some room so we can fade up into the long hairs. And our next guy line on top of that is gonna be a number two guard with the lever all the way open. And I knocked that line out that we just created in between a long number one and a long number two. We're gonna take a number two guard and close the lever. And our next guy line on top of a long number two, we're gonna go with the long number three. And what you guys need to know about this particular step, I didn't really slow it down for you guys, but after I did a long number three, I closed the lever up to a close three, and then I knocked that line out in between a long number three and a long number two. And to knock down the rest of those hairs close to the long hairs on top, we're gonna go with the number four guard with the lever closed. And moving on to this side of his head, the steps are basically the same as the other side of the head. But what I wanted to point out is I'm not really going too high on this side of his head because those hairs next to the really long hairs, I want them to grow out. So they're kind of boxed off right now, but I'm not cutting them because I do eventually want them to grow and slick back with the rest of his hair. All right, so we're gonna proceed to do his neck taper first, and our first guy line is gonna be Oscar Fastby with no guard with the lever closed. And our next guy line is just gonna be open up the lever and make another guy line right on top of that. And to knock out that line we just created in between open and close, we're gonna put that lever roughly halfway in the middle and then flick that line out. And our next guy line is going to be a number 116 guard or number 0 guard with the lever closed. Alright, so our next step is going to just open up that number 116 guard all the way open. And try, at this point, I'm trying to fade him to that 1.5 as much as possible without trying to make another guy line. Uh, but I kind of made another guy line, so I just went open and closed in between 116 guard closed and 116 guard open. And to fade out the very top of his taper, I go with the number one guard open and close and trying to fade into that one and a half that we initially used. Uh, as you, if, if you guys have been cutting hair for a long time, you know that Asian people have a lot of uh, dark spots in their hair, not to be racist or anything. It's just how their hair grows. It has a lot of dark spots. So I just, I switch in between guards a lot, just trying to fade those dark spots out. But uh, I mean, there's really nothing you can do with those dark spots. You just have to live with it. Um, well, my angle that I had on this taper, the camera was right there. As you can see, I'm holding the clipper with like with two fingers because I can barely see his taper um but as you guys know me i'm a perfectionist so after i lined him up after everything i went back in and just worked that taper out more trying to knock out all the dark spots that i can
And moving on to a side taper, our first guard line is going to be a, a Oscar Fast with the lever closed. And this taper on the side, I'm not going to edit it. I'm not going to fast forward at all because I do want you guys to see how long it does take to do a simple taper like this one. So after that, I opened up that lever and made another guy line on top of that. And in between the two layers, you just want to open and close, flick out the line in between the two layers. And our next guy line is going to be a number 116 guard or a number 0 guard with the lever open. And right here, all I did was just close that number 116 guard. So right now, I'm fading in between all the way open with no guard up into that all the way open with the number 116 guard. And now I'm going to fade out the rest of his taper or the top of his taper using the number one guard open and closing, fading up to that one and a half that we initially used. And to fade out the bottom portion of his taper a little bit more, knock down any dark spots that I've seen. I go with opening and closing with no guard, and then I go with my 116 guard and knock down any dark spots that I see. All this is gonna do is just make your taper that much cleaner, and it doesn't hurt to go over your work. I, I would prefer my barber to be a perfectionist. Uh, so just take your time and knock down any dark spots that you see. Like I said, I didn't fast forward this taper at all, so you guys just witnessed like a two minute taper and I was really going at a slow speed to slow down my steps for you guys. And the next step of this haircut is just to line him up. And one thing you have to know about rice gum, no dick writing or anything like that, his hairline is legit perfect. I barely have to hit it and it comes out clean every time, bro. No bullshit. And with this haircut, he did want a design of some sort. So we just decided on a very simple uh, wave part. That's what this is called. It's called the wave part because it resembles a wave. And like I said at the beginning of the video, he was trying to grow out his hair to do like a slick back look. And in my past experiences, people with the slick back look, this design uh, complements that haircut so well. So for the barbers out there watching this video, what I want you guys to take away from this design is look how gently I'm doing it. It's not the perfect design right away. I'm trying to do like a rough draft. Uh, you don't want to start out with the design too thick because you can't make it skinnier. So make a skinny rough draft design. And then from there, you can go in with your clipper upside down, hit the bottom of that line and make it how thick you want it, clean it up, make it symmetrical, do whatever you have to do, but just don't start out with a thick, crazy design because from there, you can't really fix it. And to bring out his side taper a little more, I go with my five star shaver from wall and just knock down the stubble. What this is gonna do is make that taper pop more and create more gradiency. And what you guys just see me put on his head is Easy Blade Shaving Gel. Well, this particular shaving gel, in my opinion, I think is the best. But what it does is softens up the hair, makes the razor glide easier, and opens up the pores. So when you use the straight razor, this is the Easy Blade Straight Razor. I'm trying to tell you, bro. Easy Blade Shaving Products are really, really good. All the info is down in the description box. But back to what I was saying, when you use shave gel... Um, it softens up the hair and makes the razor glide easier and it, you don't need a lot of pressure when you're using the, the razor Especially on someone's scalp. It's so easy to cut someone's scalp with the razor But with easy blade it softens up the hair So notice that I'm barely barely hitting the line at all and it's knocking down the stubbles And I'm also going to apply Easy Blade to the front of his hairline before I use the straight razor. And one thing I could say or a couple things I could say about using the straight razor because I know it's scary and I know it's real dangerous if you haven't used it before. All you have to do is pull that skin so it's tight against his forehead and then keep that razor flat and then let the razor glide for itself.
Dude. Just got my hair cut. Shout out to the homie. We out here chilling. Thanks, homie. I appreciate it. So, for all you motherfuckers out there that keep coming on my pictures, on my videos, that's how you do a rice gum tutorial. He got a little something different, a little slick bag with a little design. Something wavy for the hoes. <laughs>